Hello everybody, this is Austin from Tech Experts, and today I have a, another video for you, and this time it's going to be a tech tutorial, or a how-to, whichever you prefer. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install, where to go, and how to use MSI Afterburner and GPU-Z. MSI Afterburner is basically a software tool that allows you to overclock your graphics processing unit, um, and it's very easy to use. Um, if you don't think you can get overclock, believe me, you can with this program. It's very, very easy. Um, so let's get started. You're going to open up your web browser. And you're going to let that load. And then you go to www.msi.com. From here, you're going to collect or click your country. Um, with the country that you're from. I'm from the USA, so I'm going to click that. We'll click go. And from here, you're going to go to Downloads. And over here, Manually Download. And you're going to go to Graphics Card. Select your manufacturer. I have ATI. I'm going to go to PCI Express. And I have the ATI Radeon HD 5770. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to click that. It doesn't really matter. They're all the same cards, except one's overclocked. Um, and from here, you're going to go to Utility and you're going to download MSI Afterburner that's this one right here you can download that and you're going to click US, Asia or Europe wherever you're from, I'm from the US so I'm going to click US it's going to bring a download right there now I don't need it because I already have it so I'm going to exit out that minimize and then I'm going to open it up Okay, from here, you can see your graphics card. I have the ATI Radeon HD 5700 series. Your driver version, 8.14, Catalyst 10.7. Now, this program allows you to adjust your core clock and your memory clock for my particular video card. However, there are some that allow you to change the core voltage, shader clock, and, uh, yeah. So, to change your core clock, you're going to click that, and you're going to use the arrow key or drag, whichever one. I like to use the arrow key. Now I'm going to overclock it to 900 megahertz, and I'm going to up overclock the memory clock to 1300 megahertz. Um, and this is pretty much all it takes. And you're going to go to apply and to change your fan speed if you wish. You're going to click off auto, and you're going to click user define. This allows you to drag it up and down and when you find a fan speed you want you're going to click apply now if you don't want uh, your fan speed up that high or you want it up for a little short of time you'd open this back up and you'd click reset now when you click reset it would change your memory clock and your core clock back to normal um, you can click a little thing down here it says apply overclocking at system startup now there are some dangers to overclocking it shortens the life it may shorten the life of your component and it could damage your product. Um, so I would recommend doing it only when you need to or when you're benchmarking. Um, overclocking it that much, what I showed you, only gave Windows Experience Index a 0.1 boost, which I thought was funny. Um, but yeah. And then over here to the right, it'll show your GPU usage and percentage, and then it'll show your fan speed right here, your core clock, and your memory clock. And up here, it shows your temperature in Celsius, minimum and maximum. However, we are not going to use that. We're going to go download GPU-Z. Um, to download GPU-Z, you would simply go to, um, w or you type in GPU-Z. And then you go to the first link that would pop up, or the second one. This one takes you straight to the download. This one takes you to the website. I'm going to go straight to the downloads. And right here, it shows you Tech Power Up GPU version 0.4. You click that, and you're going to go up here, file name, you're going to click that, and you're going to go to the one with the least load in whatever country you're from. I'm from the US, so I'm going to go to USA 4. And that automatically downloads it to your download folder. Um, yeah, so once you get that done and install it, you go to your desktop or wherever you downloaded it to, click yes, and then it will boot up. 
and it will boot up your GPU specifications. I have Juniper, Juniper chipset, my bad. Um, DirectX 11 shader model 5, um, 800 unified shaders, 34 gigatexels, 13.6 gigapixels, GDDR5 memory, 1 gigabyte of that, 128 bit. And then uh, your core clock and your um, memory clock. Um, yeah. So uh, when you overclock this in MSI Afterburner, it will automatically change on here. Um, so let's get back to uh, what I was meant to do on GPU-Z. Now to check your temperatures, you'd go to sensors and it'll show your clock, your memory clock, and your temperature. Now down here, GPU temp number one, you can change it to show current. Um, and then I will change it to show lowest and I will change it to show highest. What that does, it shows the highest temperature that it's ever done, it shows the lowest that it's ever been, and it shows your current. It shows your load, your fan speed, and your GPU current temperature, and all that. This is a really, really, really useful tool. Um, I use it a lot just to see uh, when I'm overdoing the overclocking, see if it's stable or not. And uh, that's pretty much it for GPU-Z. Um, it's pretty easy to use. Same with MSI Afterburner. Hope this helps you guys. Um, yeah. Good luck in your overclocking.